because I got a good man. Yeah. <laughs> Five, four, three, Steve. two. What up, y'all? Welcome to His Thing. I'm Kevin Stay. She's that chick AJ. Welcome to another podcast baker, episode. Baker, smash baker, that like baker, button. Smash that notification oh, button. Bangers, bangers, bangers. All 2021 and two, which is the year that we're in. It's already made. Why don't you say 2021? Uh, quick announcement. The Kev on Stage Social Media Masterclass is still on sale for four weeks, four or five weeks, until the 1st of July. I was going to do a minimum of 500, but the Patreon, they they wouldn't have let y'all get none. So just, just know the deal will go up until the 1st. The sale will go up until the 1st of July. Low key, not to toot my own horn, toot toot. I really do know what I'm talking about. Yeah, when it comes to social media growth and how to grow, like, uh, when I broke down how I how I made that video go viral, the one mm-hmm. when you took last yeah, the week, one I got eight views on it. But yeah. when Kev posted, it, you know, you that know? would piss me off. Oh well, no! <laughs> oh yeah, he said something in the video. I was like, "Imara, watch what's gonna happen." This uh-huh. is you and, told her. Oh, I as soon as you texted me, I was like, "Watch what's gonna happen." But I didn't know you were gonna flip it to use it. As, well, I didn't. I had that wasn't my that was int- perfect timing. That wasn't my intention. Once you did, I was like, "Oh my!" He just gave himself a free rollout. Well, I'm just asking myself, how do I market <laughs> to people? And I'm like, I gotta prove to them I know what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. People, part of the skill is the st- same thing as stand-up comedy. <laughs> you don't realize how much actual strategy and science goes into social media. At least for me, mm-hmm. I'm not just doing things by happenstance. So I actually looked at the video and I was like, Kevin, walk walk somebody else through your try thought to, process. Try to remove yourself. Remove yourself and mm-hmm. tell somebody, why would you take a Josh story repost? How would you know that went good? So I literally walked myself back to my thought process and I was like, dang, I didn't even, it's so second nature for me. I don't even think about mm-hmm. how often I'm like, okay, boom, check out. I just do it out of habit, out of happenstance. Now I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna break down stuff and give it to you 60 seconds at a time knowing that that's, I can only give you a piece yeah. because all this stuff is really on there. And then I'm really about to get back into my teaching bag. My sister's about to, uh, my sister and brother-in-law are buying your class. Y'all better, better get before July 1st. They are. All right. <laughs> Let's start this episode. Oh, by the way, it's Kev on stage. I mean, wherever the links are, um, the code is 50. Kev on stage.com or link in my bio, wherever you're watching this, get that link. Is in it the bio. spelled out or is it the number? Spelled out. F I F T Y. Like 50. Well, no, like 50. No, like 50. There's an F in there. Black folks be like, not that 50 or 50. All right. So <laughs> two days ago, I get on my TikTok, mm-hmm. and this song is just going viral. This is Come the on. new summer banger by Candy. Hips and body, body. He not even started at the beginning, though. This is what I've heard. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back to the thing. This is the part that was going viral. Body, yeah. Body, hey, let's run it back one more time. Let's get them, girls. Let's get them, girls. Oh, early. First Let's of all, that girl, girls. that video is somebody <laughs> recording her brother saying, <laughs> first of all, our brother like really got <laughs> our mother. <laughs> my brother really got my mom's shape. <laughs> <sighs> all right, now let me try to find the full song. I know I put it in here. No, listen, I posted it got several it? times today. Absolutely, I have. You it. have? All right, yes. play the full song, Angel. Oh, because the beginning is just the Lord. It's the Lord coming to us. Here we go. Legs and hips. And, and body, 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 body. Here you go. Y'all ready? And let's get it, girls. <laughs> Stop, Stop it. Stop it. Stop <laughs> it. Oh, I, nothing I heard went that far back. Oh, Angel got some cor- some choreography for this. Oh, yeah, nobody got time for this intro. Yeah. Legs and hips and body, body. Let's get them, girls. Not the Tom. Body, body. <laughs> the soundtrack is... This is what happens. Yeah. <laughs> Keeping him around. Wait, yeah. You want a 90s R&B back? This is that sound. Let him make it drop. Yeah, it, you didn't know all that. What? Every time that he goes, let him make it pop. Let him make it pop. Oh, sorry. 
So I thought this was a new song. Apparently, this is from a play that she did, like a mother's love, seven, eight years ago. Oh, you know, Lord, this is quality. Legs and hips and body, body. <laughs> She's not saying and either. It's literally legs yeah. in, hips in, body, body. Oh, she's not saying and. You're she's just not saying, saying and. and. Legs, mm, <laughs> hips, <laughs> hips, mm, body, body. Here's the thing about Candy Skin that girls. is just diabolical. <laughs> God has given her such a gift for songwriting. And that's it. <laughs> she, he's given her a gift. For songwriting for other Mm -mm, artists. just giving her audacity. (laughs) The the audacity that is in Candy (laughs) is uh, She's got the audacity of a white man. She said, I fly above (laughs) all the haters. Ha, I fly above. Ha, I fly above. Ha, I fly above. It's beneath me. (laughs) It's beneath me. (laughs) It's beneath me. She did that. (laughs) She did that toured with that song. But then she also wrote No Scrubs. Mm -hmm. But if you really think about it, even though we love that song, it sounds like a candy song. It's very talky. No Scrubs? Yes. A scrub is a guy who thinks he's fine and also known as a buster. Buster. Always talking about what he wants but just sits on his broke ass. I hate that song. No. It sounds like a candy song. It really She's does. going now to that you, tell you the entire inner monologue. And I'm going to tell you why I hate this song in a moment, but please continue. It has oh. nothing to do with that. The song is great. That is how you know that it's a candy song. Candy is like, I don't want you to guess what I'm thinking. There's no subtext. All of the text. <laughs> All of it. It's not going to be like, a, this is why I love you. Because this you love me. Love She's going to be like, this is why I love you. I met you back in June, babe. You had a cute old fade, babe. Hips and body and body and body. Fly above our love. Ah! <laughs> it's going to be all hey, the words. <laughs> Fly above our love. <laughs> all of the words. She could, ah! She's got a, her songs are novels. You know what? So she wrote Bills, Bills, Bills too. And she fit a lot of work. Can you pay my automobiles? Yeah. Then maybe we could chill. I don't think you do. So, so you, you and me are through, through. Hold on, shouldn't do, do. You and you asked me to use my car. Car. And you don't fill up the tank. And you don't fill up the tank. And you don't fill up the tank. She do get, be Wordy McWorderson. That is what Candy does. She has the audacity to say, what are all the letters in the alphabet? <laughs> I bet you I use all of them. I bet you I do. You ain't heard nobody say zoo in a song. I bet you I figure out a way. She did uh, Bugaboo, There You Go for Pink, which was, was Pink was like, I'm going to be black for a little bit. I'm going to trick y'all. How did that song go? There you go. Looking pitiful just because I let you go. There you go. Talk about your woman back. But sometimes it bees like that. That is literally the whole <laughs> conversation. Now that you've, you've isolated her, uh. her thing, Absolutely. Now I can see the through line. I can't, I don't clown her because that's how I would write too. Yeah. There's no, there's no, I want you to think about what I said right. here, all of the things. But that was a song she really put on a play. And then did you see the, the, the footage of I the did. play of them and Dude, these moves? The dance, hey, I'm a player. Hold on, let me give you this. <laughs> <Say that> choreography. <laughs> Hold on. They look play. like they were so afraid to fall down these steps in this play. Here it is. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Let me let me cue her up, Angel, because I don't want nothing to go wrong. Let me mute the YouTubes. Okay, yeah, but I, yeah, I want to be able to see it. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to show you the screen. Y'all get ready for Angel, that chick Angel, starring as uh, the background singers and candy in Legs and Hip and Body, featuring the cast of Real Housewives of the United States of America's Atlanta. Touches me and puts it in his 
give it, give it all you got. Yeah. Oh, God, I my <laughs> put her in there. They really, <laughs> it would be stiffest. <laughs> I've got two teeth and pops. you got two hips and body. Oh, my swear. God. I swear. I <laughs> swear. This will be my song forever. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Tahir hear when he wake up. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Tahir got legs and hip and body body. People he got like, his mama's hips. He do. Tahir got more hips than I do. And Tahir. I done heard four kids. <laughs> I ain't got no hips. When somebody asks me what I'm wearing to a party, legs <laughs> and hips and body body. Let's I'm surprised you haven't made a reel with this yet. I have. I made a reel and a TikTok. It's posted? Yes. Let me watch it. <laughs> Where'd you post it? And your I Instagram, if I make somebody my favorite, then show me their stuff. I said, then you don't like her. I made you my favorite. Yeah, I, um, Marcus you post and I, it? Uh, I posted the, the TikTok before I got here, the real, while we waiting on you. Oh, so I haven't been on Instagram since. What do you need me to do? Angel. <laughs> Why would y'all? Because I got legs, hips, and body. I wanted to see if he could. Oh, you were on this yesterday. Right in that room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you like you get on a roller coaster. Yeah. I literally. Oh, then control of. Listen, I almost had it. Marcus didn't believe in us. Did y'all get it? Woody. What, you... <laughs> what do you think? This would be like if you and Marcus did it. I am heavy. <laughs> I might only weigh 200. I feel like 400. I, am so I was trying to see if we had that uh, Meg the Stallion party type of energy. We don't. <laughs> That's not what's going on in our, in our relationship. We are better. Marcus almost for Listen, we are closing on 40. He is 40. What'd Marcus you turned 40? I thought it was 39. You were on his birthday. I thought that was 39. Yeah, Why? I would not have done all that for 30. That's what you and Melissa like to do for arbitrary birthdays. We just gonna we just gonna get the whole SoFi stadium. <laughs> Kevin's turning 38. We don't do it. Or it's not that expensive. SoFi? It's like it's I mean it's wild, but it's how expensive? We could I mean we could talk offline. This Text me and I'll tell you if it's wild expensive or not. <laughs> Text me. I gotta get an updated number because this was also during the pandemic when nothing was happening there. Yeah, they let Issa up in there. That's what I'm saying. With man. her friends. I mean, y'all act like Issa ain't got a lot the of money. She also has the key to Inglewood, so she literally has the key. I don't know where the door is to Inglewood, but me neither. It unlocks. Oh, they didn't busted that door down a long time ago. <laughs> that key's always big. So, what is your favorite song written by Candy? Oh my gosh. Oh, let me tell you why I hate no scrubs. So people don't think I'm just being rude uh -huh. to TLC. This is not a joke. I actually think about doing this on stage. The first time I heard no scrubs, literally no joke, no lie, no hyperbole, no exaggeration. I was in 10th grade in El Paso, Texas with mm -hmm. my boy, Robert. He had a car. He was like the only one of the three 10th <laughs> so graders with the car because he had like Started high school in Germany. It was a long thing, but he was like 16, uh -huh. almost 17 in high school. Or maybe he got held back. I don't know his, said I don't know what his happened. stuff. But he was 16 and he had a car because dad was in the military. He was in El Paso doing sergeant major training. And he was a single father. So he's like, look, you got to take you and your brother to school. I, I got to be at that sergeant major. So we was riding to school and I heard the song. No, I'm like, oh, man, this, this is tight. And then they got right to the scrub as a guy who thinks he's fly. And he's also known as a bust. I'm like, oh, yeah. Oh, this is great. Oh, I always think about what he was. Um, wait. Oh, he's talking about. No, I don't. Oh, no. What's the passenger side? How did, how did they get that part? Hanging out the passenger side of his best court. friend's ride. Trying That's to it. holler I was, at me. I, I wasn't hollering at anybody, but I had my arm out the window. Yeah. Listening. you like hanging out the passenger side of his best friend's ride. And I was like, oh, no. I'm I, I'm hanging out the passenger side of my best friend's ride. Listen, the and way I, Candy I've writes, I'm surprised she didn't say his name is Kevin <laughs> Allen Fredericks. He's in a car that's a cut glass in 1989. It was when it was made. It's a rusty blue color. 
<laughs> she loved to put it. It didn't all matter that. that I was 15 years old and, and I couldn't even get a license. <laughs> what like, mattered is that you're talking about me. Candy was speaking to my current situation. Oh, Kevin. She's credited as writing No Pigeons too. I wonder if that's just because it it uh they sampled No Scrubs. Uh, no telling. Okay. Because if is... she really helped write No Scrubs and then went to Sporty Thieves and helped write No Pigeons, she's the goat. Oh yeah, Candy's gonna make to always turn lemons into lemonade. No, she's... No Pigeons is wild, Angel. Yes. Yes, no is. pigeons is just a wild like sporty thieves. I ain't heard nothing before them or after. Them. I'm <laughs> yeah, sorry, like, sporty thieves. I don't know who y'all fan base is. A pigeon is a girl who thinks she's loud. <laughs> they <laughs> were like, me. We're yeah. They heard that song and was like, Oh, she's talking about us. <laughs> it was all the dudes that were like, Are you talking about me? This is my favorite candy song. Okay. It's so funny how they oh. Somebody put the music to it. I don't want all the music. No. What is this? Angel? I don't like this, Angel. I don't want all this. Who did this? You remember when she did this? I've they never did heard this. this. They added music to it. Hold on. Hold on. Stop. It, no, nobody sang that good. Hold on. What is that? I'm so mad I can't find the one where Jesus Christ! <laughs> Watching Angel try to operate the internet is is great. I fun. can't find the one without the music. Look at her, money <laughs> making Monday. Her, look at this, in this. Okay, here we go. In this, it's you. so funny how they hate on me. Got so much to say when they don't know me. When I'm just trying to secure my paper, I'm on my grind so. I'm oh, sorry about that, guys. It's money making Monday. It's money making Monday. It's money making Monday. It's money making Monday. Ooh. See, I'm just trying to secure my paper. I'm on my grind. So bleep a hater. Mm -hmm. It's money mm. Monday. Go get it. She cleared up that airport. Go get it. She it's just. Oh, she's still Monday, going. Go yeah. It's money yeah. out there. Go get it. Hey, yeah. Hey, you hey, see? You hey, see how? Money what? She's still yeah. going. Yeah, because that's candy. She can't stop, Monday. won't stop. Money making Monday. Monday. <laughs> money making Monday. This might be her finest work, though. She also wrote this. Now, this is <laughs> this is my jam. Is it? Don't be tired in front of party. Come on, Kim Zosiak. Tiny in front of party. Late. I'll meet you at the place. I'll meet you at the place? Yes. Yeah. To celebrate. Like Pearl. I ain't heard this in a minute. Don't go to sleep. Love, oh yes, we own the life. And I am not leaving till I see daylight. Don't be tired. Why do you have the pie? verse memorized? Boo, boo. Oh, you love it. Tomato, don't, tomato. I'm throwing tomatoes. <laughs> don't be tired in front of the party. Oh, oh. Don't be tired for the party. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Devil Ham said that's aggressively white girl turn up music. <laughs> it is. Help and don't be late. <laughs> that's what Kev be texting to me. <coughs> hey, I sent him a. Uh... Man, that is you in a nutshell. Angel, I... <laughs> I'm going to play the video. Angel said, This is me. You just you didn't know this when you hired me. Yes, Hold kill on. him. Where is it? Uh... This is Angel. This is what she said. I'm going to be your best employee, I promise. I'm gonna come to work. I'm gonna work my ass off. I'm gonna do a good job. She's eating chicken, by the way. I'm gonna just be late. <laughs> and on top of being late, I'm gonna sit in the parking lot and make sure I didn't eat before <laughs> I start the shift. But I'm gonna get some work done. I'm gonna get some work done, though. That's what I'm saying. I'm gonna be she yeah. said, "She said, I'm a, this is black folks talking. I'm yeah. gonna make sure I done ate.' 
Oh, yeah. Now I will have eaten. Now I have finished some food. I will make sure I done ate. Yeah, just replace that with Starbucks drive through I'm going to be in that Starbucks drive through <laughs> But when I get here, I'm going to have the jokes, okay? These are not the things that Kev asked me in my employee interview, okay? He should have put some little skill sets on the ND post before he hired me. And so you need to know that when you are looking to hire and when you're mm. using Indeed, who yeah. can be your super hiring partner, okay? Indeed is hire, a hiring platform where you can attract, interview, and hire all in one place. Instead of spending hours on multiple job sites searching for candidates with the right skills, Indeed is a powerful hiring partner that can help you do it all. Find great talent faster through time-saving tools like Indeed, Instamatch, assessments, and virtual interviews. With Instamatch, over... 80% of employers get qualified candidates whose resume whose uh, resume on Indeed matches their job description the moment they sponsor a job, according to Indeed Data US. Indeed is pretty simple. I uh, When I was looking for a personal assistant, um, when I originally put the job post out, I think I got like 40 people who applied that had the skills that I asked for them to have, that had social media um uh skills on their resume in their previous job um descriptions as well as the proximity of where i needed them to actually be located it made it super duper super duper easy i think i was able to post that within 20 minutes dang within, really yeah within a day i had about 40 applications Candidates you invite to apply through Instamatch are three times more likely to apply to your job than candidates who only see it in a search according to US Indeed Match. And with Instamatch, Instant Match, as soon as you sponsor a post, you get a short list of qualified candidates whose resume on Indeed match your job description and you can get an invite, you can invite them to apply right away. Join more than three million businesses worldwide that use Indeed to hire great fa talent fast. Start hiring now with a $75 sponsored job credit to upgrade your post at Indeed.com slash HTT. HTT! For a good, I mean, offer good for a limited time. Claim your $75 credit now at Indeed slash Indeed.com slash HTT. HTT! Indeed.com slash HTT. <laughs> Terms and conditions apply. Pay per qualified applicant not available for all users. Need to hire? You need Indeed. Indeed. Ooh. All right. In other news, this kind of went viral right as we were finishing the bonus episode of last week. Also, I want to say one thing about Candy before we moved on. The the two funniest, three funniest things I had is the girl putting the song under her brother saying he got his mom's shape. Oh he got God. their mom's shape. Somebody said it sounds like a Temple Run 2 beat. It does. <laughs> With those boom, 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 boom. Like, why do we have that in there? And this other girl said me twerking so they don't throw me the volcano for a sacrifice. <laughs> it does have big entrance of a volcano energy. It's Zuma Zuma. It is. If you if you heard that beat without the lyrics in Indiana Jones, you'd be like, man, Indiana finna go. Yeah. He finna be dead up in there. And then all of a By sudden. By the way. <laughs> Harrison Ford looked old forever, didn't yes, he? Oh a yeah, long he been time. old. He looks, he looks ancient old. in the recent Star Wars, though. Bro, in the Star, but as Indiana Jones, I don't know how then. old he, he was, was then. Probably twenty five. I was thinking about. <laughs> yes, I feel like him and Danny Glover lead the league in "I've Been Old." Oh, now Danny looked real, real old. Danny, Danny Glover real. as a seven year old was Mark eighty six, <laughs> and Morgan, Morgan Freeman. Freeman look, but Morgan look. Freeman, his is like he went from nothing to eighty. Yeah. Danny Glover just always looked about 45, 47, mm, like Harrison. I feel like he's looked 50 something for a Danny long time. Danny Glover, he, Danny he just Glover. plays exasperated old man. Like, how old was he in the color purple? I'm telling you, he was probably like 23 years old. <laughs> <laughs> it was probably a solid 23. Okay, so Danny Glover, first of all, Danny Glover's present, uh, uh, I mean, active starts at 1978. Oh, my God. He's been active. I was still since 78. And my mama's. Over it. I, I heard you change it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm over it. Yeah, hey, Danny Glover currently 19. He's uh, 75. He's born in 1946. He's only 75. Not only. <laughs> Not only. <laughs> well, my mother is about to be 72, and there is a there is a difference. I've met Danny Glover. Have you? Yes, from at the NAACP. You met Daniel. I met Daniel. I was supposed to interview him, and I could see how life was just being just leaving him. <laughs> I said, I was supposed to interview you, but if you just, if you don't feel like it, it's fine. He was like, if I, if 
I could just sit there. I was like, I don't want him to die in the middle of this interview. <laughs> I could just sit here? Yeah, he was just just okay. sitting there curled over. So he born in 1946. Color Purple came out in 1985. He was how old? 39? 30, uh, he was 86, so 30, 34. No, 46, 46. Born in 46, the movie came out in 85. So he was 30, 39. You were right, sorry. 39. I am 39. 39 right now. Hmm. You could play Mr. I could play, I don't, but I couldn't get up to look like Mr. You he was 39? Do you have to grow out your hair? That'll help. Yeah. <laughs> That'll do it. Danny Glover just <laughs> always looked like he just said. <sighs> yeah. When he played uh, in Lethal Weapon, first of all, so that means in Lethal Weapon, he was younger than that. First of all, this this man been he been working steadily for forty years. Oh yeah, yeah. Forty years. Him, Lawrence, they be they be. But learning. Lawrence Fishburne looked young though. When yeah, he, he played looked, Furious Styles, he wasn't as young as they wanted him to be in there. He was young until Blackish. Then all of a sudden, he jumped <laughs> through some sort of aging portal because he looks old as hell on Blackish. Because <laughs> oh uh and uh the Matrix, that was also. Shoot, Matrix 20 years old now? Yeah. Yep. No, it's maybe true. older than that. No. Matrix 99? No, I think no. it's 20. About it's 20. like 20 years no, old. No, y'all, I think Chill the Matrix came, Matrix came out when I was in high school in, in 10th grade, I believe. No, I was The Matrix college. came out in 1999. Shut I'm up. looking at it. No, it didn't. <laughs> I'm looking at Google's it. Google's wrong. <laughs> it came out like 2002. How the Matrix came out then? It was like, he was young looking then, and then he uh, jumped. Lawrence Fishburne? Yeah. He and was. then he gained a whole person because he, he, he was a lot more svelte. Now he... he now he looked like O'Kell. <laughs> he just thicker. He thick. He thick, thick, That's, thick, I thick. Think I, He I, got I, them legs, hips, and body. <laughs> <laughs> hey, body, man. body. Low key, I, def, I, don't know, I don't really have hips. What I got... You, what is that then? Hmm? What is that? Me? Yeah, what is it? I got legs and gut and body, body. Do I have hips? Big hips? Let me see. They not small <clears throat> hips. What? This is hips, right? Yeah. It's because you got all that tail. That tail. No, so you I'm can see that. it. You can see your. That is thumper. You can see your butt from the front. You is what. <laughs> that thing is. That's solid. Yeah. If I poke, if I, if I that poke, you got to try to curl your shoulders over those you know, so you're not like. If I were to pop, you know, <laughs> pop that thing, that boy's sitting on something. Sit there. on a little bit of something. I don't really know what hips. No, you don't have hips, but you're you can see your butt from the front. <laughs> Kev got one of them booties. Like, we ooh, girl. <laughs> anyway. Got that uh, wagon. I feel like Danny Glover, Harrison Ford, Morgan Freeman, they're probably top five been old. Oh, yeah. They're just like, we not now who's aging great is Samuel. So you know what's crazy? What? In his last Movie with Brad Pitt, I mean, not Brad Pitt, uh, Bruce Willis, uh, where he played uh, Dr. Glass or Mr. Glass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His mom was younger than him. Yeah. And they had to age her up to look older than he just looked. Right. Sam, I believe, is 75, too. See, that's what 75, I feel like, should look like. Not what um, Danny Glover looks like. Yeah, yeah. Samuel L. Jackson is, oh, he's 73. Yeah, that's what that's a two year difference. That don't look like that. That's what seventy something should look like, in my opinion. When I think of my mother, granted, she don't look as like she's maybe not as youthful looking as Samuel L. Jackson. Samuel is really slowing down his age, but my mother still has a youthfulness to her that Danny, I don't see it in. No, Danny. I don't see. Danny it in. always looked like he just paid the mortgage, uh -huh. the tuition is paid, and he just also paid for something, like something big, like yeah. a carburetor went out, or or an alternator, or I a feel hot like water all heater. Of his friends have died. That's what he looks like. You know that that elderly person where you just like they didn't watch everybody go on. You know what's crazy? Black women. Angela Bassett is 63. Yeah. And she looks like she could be 40. Oh, yeah. No, she stays in impeccable shape. She does. Regina King also is 50. 51. Yeah, that she's ridiculous. Could easily play 30. You know who's going to be like that? That old Brisha's Webb. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Brisha Webb paid a, chi a child when she was in her 20s or 30s? Uh, 20s. She hadn't played any children in her 30s. Brisha Webb, 38. When she wasn't she a child in the in the Marlon Wayans movie? Not no. a kid, but like a 
High school? No, the Marlon Wayans movie. She played his girlfriend. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about that one. Maybe even Mike Epps. The black Meet the Blacks. Meet the Blacks. Her her good friend plays her stepmom. Right. That's what. Wasn't she? Was she a teenager in that? Yeah, I think so. She's supposed to be like a teenager, but like, yeah, but like that type of teenager. You probably gonna be like that too, though. No, I'm a. I'm my age is right there with me. No, it's me. just your hands. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you said. You, I didn't say it. Uh, I never noticed nothing about your hands until no, you brought my it hands up. Definitely look like this is a mama who has whooped some butts. <laughs> Th- this, yeah, I got them hands. Look at these knuckles. Like I've been fighting in the streets, just slap boxing. Man. That's the type of hands I have. No, I am going to always look great for my age, and maybe five years younger. Like that- I know I could, I could be. 37 in somebody's head and they would be like mm-hmm. 37 they'd believe it they'd be like hey, you, you know. you're absolutely right though because when i seen you as a child and you had that up down down up oh i've always been mature you look 28 and uh, 18 mature. yeah i've always the white diamonds mature. was it was the there too. oh yeah i always knew better that's the maturity uh so yeah. anyway uh Yes, that's what I'm gonna look like, Randy. Rich Ooh. auntie forever. Oh, rich auntie vibes. Yeah. When you wear your big old bag and them big old sunglasses, Everything. and you come in looking up here in the summertime, Angel. Hello. <laughs> you also look like an auntie when you was on your phone, like, sure. <laughs> looking Kevin, over your glasses. You didn't have no glasses on. And you was looking over them because it was hitting the notifications <laughs> from my video, my legs, hips. And body body video when I was trying to get to money making Monday, <laughs> money making Monday. Oh, well, before we move off of Candy fully, Candy yeah. Burrs feels Escape would beat Destiny's Child in the verses. One of them lace fronts got too tight. <laughs> <Mm-mm>. <laughs> N- got to be. Now I get it. She mm-hmm. wrote two of their songs, two of their smash hits, so she okay, gets so to take those W's. She wrote. She wrote Bills. Bills and, and Bugaboo. And Bugaboo. Okay, take those two off or split. Uh Let's say we take them off the board. Take them off the board. Okay. But here's why that don't work, though. Here's why that don't work. Why? Because if you take songs that Candy wrote, then you can take that's a solo artist. Mm -hmm. Right. You cannot introduce Beyonce as a solo artist and have any comparison. So if you want to go Destiny's Child versus Escape, then you it don't matter if you wrote that. Right. Because you the moment you introduce Beyonce as a solo, if you this can do is, solo stuff, it ain't no competition. So we got to go back to, to group for group, even if Candy wrote it. Listen. This ain't a songwriter versus this is a group versus. Then you, you ain't got no ma- you ain't got no chance. Uh, Candy lied to herself and everyone else. Listen, <laughs> I... I'm not going to talk bad about Escape, even though no, I no, no. think I, they sound terrible. I'm not going to talk about them. Oh, wow. I <laughs> know they had an impact <laughs> on R&B, okay? <laughs> Just kick it. What are we going to do? Take off your shoe. Would, would we and even have this? We would not. I mean, I know this existed, but that might be the most poignant example. That and Brandy they had that oh, they right dressed in all that leather and then bent down to that they song. were like we want to give masculine presenting lesbians a face someone to turn to. who can i run to they were talking to we're them not we love they were the on- they were really the only ones that were doing it uh that were like dressing in that way need to do before this goes up oh yeah you need to pull the you know, audio off and you need to mix those two up and go viral I'm angel if you don't do it lone amorphous is gonna do it uh, who, who? lone amorphous that dude who went viral he like produced rihanna's song he got he known for, for mixing, mixing songs together he re- i think he did a luther and was it luther and rihanna that, that joe did it it was a, there was a period of time where he was doing like one a week 
He oh, was wow. doing. I mean, these mixes were so. I'm gonna play you one. Play me one because you I would don't know see, what it You is. would think that the song went like that. Did you get Grammy nominated? I believe he did. I don't know how to spell Lorna Morphis though. Whoo! I just threw some letters in there. Luckily, Google found it. Okay, this is. Let me find you the one I was talking about. Hopefully, he has them all on his YouTube's. Oh, he's still been doing it. Dang. Oh, come on, YouTube. When you're a music Amorphous, artist. Amorphous is his name? Amorphous? Mm, yeah. When you're, you, when you're a music artist, your YouTube be messed up. I hate the way they do them. Oh. Okay. What, what was the one? It was Luther Josh? Luther and Rihanna. All right. Let me see. I think I found it. Hold on. Kiss it better versus never too much is mm -hmm, what somebody mm -hmm, said. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Here we go. Luther Vandross and Rihanna never kissed it. This is the mashup. Mm. This is how he went viral. One of them. First of all, never too much as the opening beat. It's so fire. This is big skate skate oh, night. Oh, it is. Hey, what y'all doing at night down at the skating rink? Oh, I wish I could skate as good as the people. Nigga, you know Usher. Ah, oh. this nigga is so smooth. Just they just be. All right, all, right, all right, turn it off. Turn it off. This what? thing's not going to get uploaded. Uh, Can't just be running Rihanna? I, I was just like, I was vibing to it. But anyway, I think this got turned into a song. Uh-huh. Why mm -hmm. can't you search YouTubers who are, who are musicians? When you have a music page, you cannot search by most popular upload. It always wants you to see their music. And anyway, the whole point I made is if you don't do that, he's going to do that. But that's he has a whole production. You hear? He you hear a music, all that? I mean, he's a music producer. Yeah, so there's a little bit of a difference. So he could still do it. Because it's just I a want you to do it, kitchen. Angel, because I don't want to do it and then take it away from you. The thing is, you could do it. People can add music to it when they remix it. There we go. Because that's what's going to have to be. Well, you should do that. You should be like, put a beat under this. Dang, he did way more of these than I realized. Yeah, I wanna, that's what I'm saying. He, he, he went was on, going he crazy went on, on these. Stop, stop. There we go. Candy will just wherever on that she thought, lands. <laughs> I saw this clip of Billie Eilish, and we're going to get into our next topic. We're closing on the next ad anyway, and I'm going to want to start a, who's, a no seg in that. Billie Eilish was on David Letterman's. Uh, Oh, uh, my next guest. My next guest needs no interruption. Introduction. Interruption? Introduction. 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 Oh, but don't interrupt her as well. She did this thing called vocal comping, right? Mm -hmm. Have you heard of this? No, mm -mm. I'm, I'm excited to hear Vocal about it. comping is uh, this one song she did. She sung, she's saying it. I'm going to play the I'm going to play it. Thing called comping a vocal. So usually what I do is a bunch of takes make sure that each one there's something usable for every single part this is fascinating i just occurred that with minor exception you go a to z there you go bang zoom good night and she's saying that you can assemble yeah, yeah. here is the vocal take for billy's song happier than ever and i'm gonna pretend i'm in a class so do you see all of those lines those are all separate cuts. of audio files that have been Put she into takes one the take. Best we of got each up one. to like But she sings takes. the whole song wow. through. Yeah. This is all and they take, the takes Billy was doing. At this part's good. That part's good. Some takes she was I didn't know that's what it's called. I've done that before. Through, but I thought you just. Like, oh, I messed that note up. Let me sing that note. Where no. The Beca no, because sometimes you'll hit a run completely different and want to use that, but use another run from earlier. take. Like a little bit before. I mean, depending on when. I mean, rappers do that too, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she did this. 87 takes. Oh, Jesus. 87 takes. And some she didn't sing the whole long song through. Some she sang from beginning uh -huh. to the middle, some middle to the end, some this chunk. If I have the time and resources and energy to do 87 takes of something, and you can take the best of these takes, because you know, when I sing, every once in a while, I hit a note mm -hmm. or two yeah, that'd be do. good. You mm -hmm. got to go wrong. Right? You do. And when Darius was producing me, you know, he, he jazzed me up on auto tunes. Mm -hmm. So I saw that. I said, hold on. In my mind, I know y'all be in the studio, but I thought y'all was like, I know y'all singing, but I thought, I didn't know y'all was like, okay, I man. know it was a splice splice. Uh-huh. You know what I'm yeah. saying? This is basically a jump cut. Yes. 
of a of a of a song, if you do that many takes and you still can't sing, you can't sing. If it take you eighty seven takes and you still ain't got nothing, then you just ain't doing you, it. Yeah, no, that's the the times that I have recorded in the studio. That is what we uh, have done. The only problem being that I'm not like a performer like this woman is yeah. that's for a living. My voice will drastically change from take one mm. to like take seven because my vocal cords finally open up. And so you might have heard one sound. It will not, you can't splice those two together. So I really would have <laughs> only maybe six through ten that you can play with. One through five, throw them away. <laughs> they ain't, just throw it all away. Uh, but listen, <sighs> y'all. Ooh, oh my gosh. Listen, some things you don't want to throw away is good credit. You need to have good credit, right? Specs. And uh, no printer. when you want a new credit card but aren't sure how to choose, you don't need to apply for the first offer you see in the mail. Okay, sure don't. listen. Don't do that. Don't do that. First of all, let me just, I'm going to take a break from the copy real quick. Listen, listen, people of color, because I know that's who most of us are watching. This is black folk. We have had a very tumultuous relationship with credit. Oh, yeah, we have. Credit cards in America. I'm not trying to put us all in one box, but for the most part, either we've had that relationship or we know somebody, we're related to somebody who's just, we didn't struggle, right? But we are trying to break that experience, right? We're trying to change our experience when it comes to finances, when it comes to in, to credit. And I believe it's possible. I don't think it's something that can be, uh, that uh, is not attainable for us. So let me get back to this car, uh, copy. Credit Karma can help you zero in on the right option for you and apply with more confidence, okay? Credit Karma is super, super simple to use, and it's also really helps to make sure you're getting the best thing for you where you're at financially. Credit Karma uses your credit profile to show you offers that are tailored to your financial situation, right? Because listen, if you still have like a, you know, a high debt to income ratio, you might just need something a little bit smaller just so you can build your credit, right? Versus someone who is like upper, got some good numbers that can get a better offer that can start using their credit card more like cash and pay the balance off every month. Every right? month. So Credit Karma partners with a wide range of credit uh, of card issuers so you can be sure that you are exploring all sorts of options. Best of all, Credit Karma uses your credit data to show you your chances of, appro of approval before you even apply. Okay, because some of these companies be having you thinking, oh, you're going to get something then just for them to deny you. Then why you pull my credit? You shouldn't have told me that I was going to get it. Credit Karma was like, don't you worry about that, baby. We're going to let you know ahead of time. You ain't going to be able to get that card, but you can get this card. This is the one that's probably going to uh, prove you. Um, so you can uh, apply with even more confidence. Comparing cards on Credit Karma is 100% free and won't affect your credit scores. Credit Karma, create your own karma. Ready to find the card for you? Head to Credit Karma and check out your personalized mix of offers today. Go to creditkarma.com or the Credit Karma app to find the card for you. That's creditkarma.com. Com. Amen, All right. Amen, so amen. what I was saying right before the break, towards the end of our bonus episode, this story was going viral. <clears throat> if you are on our Patreon watching this now, click the link at the very top. See the picture. Josh will put it in now for you guys who are watching later. This young gentleman, he he went. He wanted veneers done. OK, mm -hmm. composites. Composites. Uh, he did not have the requisite financing to go to a dentist. Now, let me just pause you mm -hmm. real quick. Say it word. I done looked into veneers. Okay. I, I, I've got them pitched to me by my dentist. There's a reason Cardi, who was a stripper and making a lot of money, said I got a bag and fix my teeth. Mm -hmm. Real veneers. Hope you host knows this ain't cheap. Are <laughs> the profit so says. expensive. They are legitimately can get if you had a like professional professional 15 20 25 thousand dollars if you get like eight oh yeah if you get full grill they're more expensive than that oh i thought 20 25 was a lot oh. you could get up to 30 easily now that's the price of a small toyota camry corolla that, when you think of teeth compared to body work 
teeth are more experienced. Teeth? Oh, you can get titties? Oh, you can get a Seven couple. Seven, eight. Of, you can get a couple of titties. You can get spare titties. Your main titties. Imagine, imagine if Candy wrote a song about teeth and veneers. Gums and teeth <laughs> and canines, canines. canines. Mm, girl. Let's fix them, girl. So let's just say that. Okay? Mm-hmm. Dental work. Dental work on on par. Just dental. Yeah. Dental is usually the most expensive part of your uh, thing after health. Vision, they throw vision in. Oh, yeah, yeah, Dental, people just be don't be going to the dentist, period, because of how expensive it is. Yeah. So I want to frame this story with that. I get it. This young man that went down to the Instagram girl, okay? He went down to the Instagram. <laughs> he went down to the Instagram girl. He did not have money for real veneers. So he searched on this girl who... Gave this man gently used veneers. These are his words, not mine. Now, listen, though. He has gone to her before to get a grill. <laughs> That's You're right. I forgot about this that This is part. his friend. He's gone to her before. Did not like the grill. He himself said the grill wasn't that great, but I decided to give her another try. Maybe that was, maybe the grill was her zone of not no. excellence. No, the grill wasn't good either. It wasn't competency. No. <laughs> it's our zone of you shouldn't maybe, be over well, here he either. The, he rolled the dice. It was like, you know, maybe the veneers are, are the zone of excellence. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Continue with this story. So <laughs> the whole thing about veneers for whiteness is the veneer is supposed to be white. So almost so white that your teeth look blue. Okay. Yeah, you you can choose your shade. You supposed to choose something more natural tone. Right. And some people they 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 choose. He went to a used tire shop. No. <laughs> he chose he chose veneers that look like this. Yes. You see this on the camera? No, you said that. No, you mean the bricks. If she put no the bricks. <laughs> she put bricks cinder blocks. He got the tab. He got tabs book. Now mind you. <laughs> His natural teeth were also like Hawaiian rolls. Very buttery looking, soft. Have you ever seen teeth that look soft? The golden finish, you know? <laughs> teeth that look like you could squeeze them. <laughs> Listen, y'all, hey, y'all, guys, you, I, I know, I know. You cannot go to people who are, who have not completed dental school for dental work. Absolutely. That not. really shows you how, how expensive healthcare in the, in America is. People be going, they got to go out of the country to get veneers. You can't go to your home girl. This is, I mean, if people are getting themselves paralyzed by getting shots in their butt, it's cement booty girl, cement booty girl, cement teeth, boy, <laughs> that is what we have. So, Fast forward, the she showed fast forward. He's mad because his teeth um look like uh they've got like country croc stains all across them, right? His new uh composites. Not to be confused with full blown veneers. Composites are temporary where veneers are uh permanent. The veneers they shave your tooth down. Yes. yes. So, so you have Yeah, very like you you have little um like a uh, plastic wear, basically, it's what? like thin. So when he, the dentist was telling me about it, I was like, "What? I, I don't understand." And they was, he was like, "We don't really. I don't. It's a kind of a gruesome thing. It is." And they shave your teeth down to where you look like gremlin. Yeah, you and, look like a piranha. And then they put the the click click in there. That's why I will have these little itty bitty chiclet teeth for the rest of my life. You will not shave down my teeth more than the Lord did when he. <laughs> I have tiny teeth, okay? I've got, I will never bite someone as a, a, a form of attack. Because it, it's going, you ain't going to feel it. It's going to feel like a little staple. Um, so she didn't shave down his teeth. That's not the type he had. She just placed like, it's like cement composite onto the teeth. They sh- turned and she matched the color because he wanted to whiten his teeth, right? Mm-hmm. And she was like, no, because that means you're going to have to keep coming in and whitening your teeth for them to match the veneers. So we're going to keep them the buttery brown that you already have. Well, <laughs> um, apparently whatever his dental health was to begin with, he wasn't doing things to avoid stains. Cause that's something that once you get those, you gotta, you gotta drink things out of a straw. You can't be smoking because it will stain these yeah. fake teeth. Yeah. 
And so sure enough, I don't know how much time passed, but it, I'm sorry. I'm about to, cause he had stains on his teeth. And so he wanted to come in right now. She did already gave him more of a discount than what it was. It was $800, but she, she uh, she took 500 and he did it. He did his teeth on layaway, right? He paid into it. And then he was like, uh, when can I get in for you to clean up his teeth? When can I get in? And once he put on blast on Instagram, she was like, I'm going to put all your little dirty teeth out here. She showed his real teeth and the, the new teeth. They look the same. She did a bigger version of the teeth he had. They look the same. She So they took a before and picture. A before. Yes, no, a before, before and. and. Yeah, it was an and. There was no after. <laughs> But you can't do it. You can't do that with your teeth, y'all. Listen, God gave us all this melanin. Our teeth really pop, like more so than any other color people. When we are this color and then teeth are white, mm -hmm. you can't be playing around. You can't. You can't. He might as well have did like them kids when they lose their teeth and they're in patches, they put in flippers. He should have just ordered flippers. Isaiah had that for little rascals. Flippers? He had, because he... His tooth fell out during production, mm -hmm. and they gave him like a flipper for the thing, and he hated it. And uh -huh. it kept falling out one take. He was crying. He was, I was little like, ditches. He was, <laughs> he was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. And then when we took him to the Minus Behavior movie premiere, he just freaked out, man. He was like, there was kids screaming everywhere. He was like, I don't want to do this. This is too bad. I was like, hey, man. That's why I didn't have, I didn't have Joe Jackson in me. No, I didn't. I couldn't force him. I was like, come on, man. It's okay. You don't got to do this. Please, please. Come on. I want to see what that's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> please, please don't, 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 don't. <sighs> but what, uh, what, who do you think was right or wrong in this situation? Both wrong. Tell me why, Kevin. I mean, I don't, I don't know. What, what did she do that was wrong? She's not a dentist. Come on. She did the best she could. Listen, she was what she had. She didn't pay. If he didn't pay. He paid 500 and it was eight? It's usually eight. That's a good deal. There's certain things you got to pay the full price for. Let me tell you. <laughs> let we me, talk about this. Let, I have a girlfriend. Hopefully she don't watch this. <laughs> I have a girlfriend who got her tummy tucked for free. For free? For free. Because there's a place where they do... Um, this is where they test out all their new procedures, new medicine. All it's a like a, it's like a research this, center hey, for plastic for, surgery. Come work here for exposure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. And so you can sign up for a procedure, and if they end up needing to do that procedure to test out a certain thing, they'll hit you up and be like, "Come in." It's in a reputable city. A lot of white women do it. This is how they get their oh, stuff no. for free. Really? And I was like. I don't want to even go to a doctor that has discounts. No. I don't want to have deals. D I don't, don't find want... it on Groupon. Yo, yo, if you on Groupon, get out of here. She was like, listen, I, I'm just trying to, um, she's like, I'm trying to save money. I said, not in that way. This no. is a very frivolous thing that I, I did, and I'm going to spend all the coin on it. That, listen, LASIK, my, when I got LASIK, I, man, I need my eyes. Yes. I don't no discount, no two for one. Get, get the half of the left eye for five. No. I throw the right eye for no. -uh. What's the regular price? No discount because these you finna put a laser in my eyeballs. A whole laser. I want charge the most for that. Give me the doctor whose name is on the door for the, See, from that's one what I did for my to LASIK. zero. <laughs> yeah, I mean from one to or A to Z. The person whose name is on the door. He better be the one putting the drops in my eyes. He better be the one on the machine. Don't you give me no assistant Man. who's training. I don't want that. Mm -mm. That's what they be doing with pap smears. Y'all don't know it. They, at uh, training hospitals, they'll be like, this is <clears throat> their student at UCLA. They'll be accompanying me. And uh, are you okay with that? Th yes. These training hospitals. This is like uh, when my brother was in Barber College. Mm -hmm. You would get a you get free haircuts at the barber college. Oh yeah, because they training you give yeah. them like a five dollar tip. Oh yeah. I mean that's a but haircut. But they finna mess your that that's what I'm broke. saying. Okay, I was gonna say we they finna mess your haircut doesn't... for five dollars, but your hair gonna grow back. Yeah. yeah, they get up in that coochie with that pap all messed up. They got the forceps turned inside out. Listen, now your coochie done, just set on fire. It's, it's what is bad uh, is when you are uh, when you are an example. You see this. You, you know what this is called? I'm like, wait a minute. Wait, you tell me first what it's called before you tell this student. Why am I the case study of the dictionary, the glossary? You see this? 
what is this? I'm like, no, no, no. What is it? Is a pap smear? An, it's not an acronym, is it? Um, no, I don't think it's acronym, but I think it is. No, it is exactly what it is. What is a pap? I'm seeing something that says a pap and nakolu pap pap and nakolau test. Oh no, that must. It's short for pap pap and nakolau. I was gonna be like, pussy, <laughs> pressure, <laughs> penetration, puss, <laughs> puss ass penetration smear. <laughs> Angel. Yeah, that's there what it is. So many times where I'd be like, this this thing of Angel is worse than me. I I don't think most people don't be worse than me. Oh yes. You be you are on one today. It, but no, I. I don't think you know I use restrain every day that I come here. This is restrained? Yes. Yes. What's unrestrained? You can't put it on Kirk Franklin. <laughs> Serious oh, nothing on today is making it. Yeah, we can do a... Uh, yeah. HTT after dark. <laughs> I don't know if they ready for that. I don't know. I yeah, don't know. Man. Um, but yeah, no, I, I used to hate that. Uh, especially when I was at UC Irvine. So that's also a teaching hospital, UCLA, where uh, I had the baby teaching hospital. So they always got somebody coming up there learning from whatever. I can't even see down there. What you seeing before me? I don't like it. Don't surprise them and me at the same time. Tell, whisper to me first and then ask oh, man. if you can tell them. Tell me what I got before you tell them or have them tell me. Having a stranger tell me what I got. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. Ugh. <laughs> it's just so vulnerable. <laughs> Angel said whisper, to, whisper it to me first. Don't know. Don't have them tell You tell me in my ear first. <laughs> right. huh? Scoot over it. Get on the other side of that curtain. <laughs> right. Telling me what I have. Mm -mm. I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> HTT After Dark has to be on Patreon only. Oh, yeah. Are you going to be unfiltered or are you just having me unfiltered, sir? Ooh. That is the question. I, what do you mean unfiltered? I'm, I'm, I'm unfiltered <laughs> all the time. <laughs> Look at how Kevin's lies lead to him closing his eyeballs. <laughs> he closes his eyes. And, like, and looks straight down. What? I want to yeah. tell you something after this, after this short commercial break. A short commercial break. After these messages. And that's a gym. We'll be right uh, back. So y'all already know, uh, we are business owners over here. We're still small businesses, even though we're doing big things. <laughs> and because we are still small businesses, there's a lot of times where we don't get the discounts that big businesses get, You're right? right Angel, we don't that. get access to those bigger or those better rates. Sure but let don't. me tell you. Ship station said, enough is enough. Enough is enough. If you run an e-commerce business, you probably feel like it's time. People stop treating e-commerce giants better just because they're bigger. And you're absolutely right. That's why Ship Station gives e-commerce sellers all of all sizes access to the same deeply discounted rates usually reserved for Fortune 500 companies. No wonder Ship Station is already trusted by over 100,000 sellers. Let me tell you. Tell me, Angel. Um... Uh, when you are a, a small business, you got to save money, okay? You trying to Because trying to get into the black, especially in your early years, is it can be a struggle. So wherever you can find ways to save money, you should. And with ShipStation giving exclusive discounts on shipping rates, especially when you're um, selling merch, it's clutch, right? Because right. trying to just go into the post office and ship stuff, you might as well throw your money away. Just throw it in the toilet and flush it away because that is what you're doing. Where if you are using ShipStation, you're not just saving money, but it's a good place to just start, okay? You get deeply discounted shipping rates normally reserved for Fortune 500 companies. ShipStation works with over 45 carriers. Easily compare rates and delivery times to quickly find the best option every time. Works with over 300 platforms like Amazon, eBay, Etsy, and more to automate processes like fulfillment and tracking so you can save time managing orders. In fact, 98% of companies that use ShipStation for a year keep using it for as long as they are in business. Don't let the big guys keep all the good discounts to themselves. Sign up using promo code CREW with a K. CREW with a K. For a free 60 day trial today at shipstation.com and start saving with every shipment. That's two whole months of discounted shipping absolutely free. Just go to shipstation.com, click on the microphone at the top of the page, and type in CREW with a K. CREW with a K. Shipstation, make ship happen. 
Make ship happen. Hell so I'm working on a project. And it's what you talk about cussing. I assume that's what you were insinuating. I'm working on a project with some friends of mine. That'll be announced later. I don't want to announce it to, until the Lord appoints the time. Okay. My character in the movie that was written. Ah, shoot. <laughs> I don't even know why you thought you could talk about it you've and already, not talk about it. And you've it. already briefly <laughs> talked about it. And my good friends, I won't say what their names is. <laughs> but when I was talking to Spice about it, it became... <laughs> right. When I was talking to Spice, and then Avion had a really good friend. Right. Can't tell me that you oh, don't want actually, nobody else to know. It. Oh, I actually, know. I, I'm, I shouldn't be talking about our movie at all. <laughs> anyway, the writer of said film has my character cussing. Who's writing it? Just, just a, a film script writer. Enough out of you, Joshua. Uh, so, so. <laughs> I'm gonna write a character that cusses and you gotta start I didn't write it. it, I didn't write it. I really uh, didn't write it. Okay. I really, I promise I didn't. And the cusses ain't, ain't big cusses, baby cusses. You, these are cusses you would see in a, a Tyler Perry film. Uh-huh. Maybe by Bricious Webb. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I remember, because I, in in, if you follow me for a long time, you, I will never cuss. I never do. I stand by what I believe in the Lord. I'm going to tell you what messed me up. Actor friends I know who love God and be cussing. Like Yvonne was on Insecure. Uh, Molly, Yvonne might not cuss mm -hmm. or have premarital sex. Molly, mm -hmm. Molly does. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that I had to honor in Churchy is that the character must be true. Mm -hmm. hey man the character may do something that kevin would never oh oh mm -hmm. me i'm a child of god mm -hmm. and at the time i also thought i would never do this and i thought my audience would roast me for it let me tell you what i learned about church people down through the years through social media church people be drinking smoking saying nigga mm -hmm. cussing Everything that we did in the Bible, we Look do now. You're describing yourself. Come on. Me, I never smoked. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Talk about it, KF. Then I talked to my kids about it. And I was like, would y'all be mad if I cussed in the movie? And they were like, hmm. Because they used to be like, Father, no. And then I'd be like, y'all be cussing? They were like. Oh, exactly. What? No. <laughs> Me cuss? Me, Me Zay Zay? No. Me Jojo? Like, y'all don't never cuss. They was like, why are you asking us this? Once they go to asking you, why are right. you asking? <laughs> like, uh, what did you hear? <laughs> right. <laughs> did I butt die you? Did I butt die you? What happened? And I'm like, all y'all friends cuss. And they're like, yeah. Y'all don't cuss. They're like, we're different. I was like, all right, bet. Then I asked myself, would my core audience... Mm -hmm. Not the outlandish people, not the French people, not the people, people. I mean, well, my core audience care. And more importantly, how do I think? I was about to say, are we going to get to you? What you no, think, No, these are Kevin. all the questions I was thinking. I'm glad to hear that. So I thought to myself, I think I would cuss as an actor. Mm -hmm. I think I could cuss. Mm -hmm. How much cuss would a cuss, cuss, cuss if a cusser would cuss, cuss? Mm -hmm. Uh, I think uh, <laughs> K.L. Thompson said, I'm core audience. I be cussing. Yeah. But I, I think stage crew, I don't think, you know, uh, and I think uh, we talked about this before. Kevin at uh, 39 now, at 35, at 30, at 25, at 20. Different person. Mm -hmm. I'm not. It's just like Kendrick's last album. If you want to hear Damn or Good Kid Mad City or Section 80, you can go listen to go those. Back to that content. Kendrick okay. Lamar is not section 80. Like you could almost hear like content wise, mm -hmm. how far he's getting from the hood with each album. Yeah. 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 Right. His content changes from section 80. feels like he's in there. Good kid, Mad city. Them stories feel like they are very present. Uh, to pimp a butterfly less. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Uh, untitled less. Damn, I mean, not like nothing. Yeah, but it, you know, but then uh, uh, Mr. Morale in the Big Steppers, he's talking about trauma, guilt, survivor's remorse, mm -hmm. people giving him the crowns. He not talk, he not telling the same stories he told in Good Kid, Mad City. He already told those stories, right? So anyway, I say all that to say, uh, I'm open. You know what, Kevin? Hmm? I. Don't knock you for not cursing in your content 
for all these years and for you wanting to keep it uh, clean, keep your content as clean as whatever it has been in the past and it continues to be to some extent currently um, because that was what you felt like your own conviction is. Yeah. However, I do think we have to allow ourselves to evolve where we are evolving. If that makes sense. Yeah. I'm not saying, oh, you should cuss just because why are you so hung up on it? But if you actually don't have that conviction based off of what you feel like is, you know, between you and your connection to God, more so than your audience, because you also have to allow your audience to see you evolve. Like even we look at all these comics. I mean, you're a comic as well, but you, we look at all these comics. A lot of the greats. Some are evolving for the better, some not so much. And devolving. That's why, yes, they are <laughs> devolving. But I do think that's a part of being an artist, especially if you're an artist that is pulling from your real life versus like playing a character. And that's the thing you have to decide. How long is Kev on stage going to be able to remain this character that you, you know, uphold for your audience and how much, some of Kevin Fredericks is going to bleed into him. Mm -hmm. And you have a right to make that choice. Yeah. But I don't think I don't think you need to worry about necessarily what your viewers think as far as the evolution of who you've become. As long as your convictions remain what they are for yourself yeah. versus <clears throat> them. Because they have a right to evolve. They have a right to evolve out of your content if they, they want to. You can't they, hold they them have. Hostage. People have. Mm -hmm. People be like, I don't like this Kev. I came from playmaker stuff. He don't even do church stuff no more. And people have come, you know, and the crazy thing is somebody made this point today. They said, uh, <laughs> KB Dampson said, let the crew cuss in the live comments and in the discord. <laughs> um, the Dr. Strange video I made about Dr. Strange doing foreplay is, is worse than any cuss. And I, the mm -hmm. things I think are funny, you feel how you feel. Right. As long as my biggest fear about my content is that it'll get taken down by the platform. If you don't like it, right? I, hey, listen, it ain't got nothing to do with me. You understand right. me, like, right? But I, to your point, I would need the conviction of that for everything. But I can feel myself entertaining something that I thought I would never entertain mm -hmm. because I want to be true. The one thing I learned about myself on Churchy, I enjoy acting, like, and part of acting is is being honest and true to that character. Right, right. Right, and sometimes that stuff that you would pull, like you were saying, from your own life, substitution, things like that, mm -hmm. sometimes that's just you created a world for this character and you got to be honest to the world that that character lives in and the yeah. choices that that character makes. Even if I would never do that, and I was struggling a little bit at first with like, well, I would never do that. But that's and not it's like plan. Corey would, though, mm -hmm. right? And you can make the choice before just accepting a character. Mm -hmm. Like, there are certain things that... I don't want to do as a character or as Angel. So there are certain characters yeah. I, I won't play. I don't necessarily want to be doing vulgar sex acts on screen. I yeah. don't want to be slob on my... I don't want to do that on screen. So if it's a character who is doing that and they feel like it is so important to the storyline, then that character is not for me. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. And that's actually the opposite. Angel would possibly do that in real life, but I don't want to do that on screen. You know what I'm saying? That's not what, that's not, that's not the relationship I want to have with my audience. Yeah. Um, but that's when the choice comes in. It is and not so much changing the character to fit who you are, but yeah. deciding if the character is in the wheelhouse of what you want to play. Absolutely. I also think, uh, <clears throat> the thing I was, I was, I got the first cut back of Churchy. Mm -hmm. How are you I liking it? I, I love it. And I think it's going to be fun to get into the post process. I feel like I was like underestimating how much work post was. Cause it'd been a minute since I had to give notes like that. Mm -hmm. Like when I was at all deaf early, probably the first what was that, four years, five years, maybe. Uh huh. Anyway, first two and a half before I checked out and gave Pat all my duties and just planned tours and went on them. Yeah. I used to have to give like, have to give meticulous notes, you know, frame IO 101, use this. I hadn't done that in a minute mm -hmm. and I had forgotten how meticulous that is. You really, I heard this somewhere when I was learning to write movies, you really have three movies. You have the movie you write, the movie mm -hmm. you shoot and the movie you edit. Yeah. 
right? And when you shoot it, there are certain performances that don't come out as great. Some come out better. Yeah. Certain angles don't tell the story, all that type of stuff. And then when you edit it, you got to, you can only edit from what you have. Yeah, and yeah. what you have isn't everything that you wrote down. So having this three different uh, elements is interesting. But uh, I forgot what I started saying this. I know. I'm so sorry. And I can't I was, help you get back there. I had a point. You started editing Churchy. You saw, got a cut of Churchy. Ah, and I was like, this is a dramedy. That's what I realized. Like when I was writing, I wasn't writing. Uh, you didn't feel like that in the writing process? I did. I did. But I think because the funny stuff to me is funnier than most dramedies funny mm. is. Mm. I felt like it leaned more towards a comedy. Oh. But it's it's a dramedy that's that's it's a dramedy. I 100% agree. Yeah, and I think I like that like workplace comedy is straight up right, comedy. F- comedy. Yeah. Ain't going to be no dark night of the soul, mm-hmm. angel's husband had cancer. It ain't going to be that. Yeah. It's going to be straight up. I mean like The Office. They don't they had a couple moments in you know, was it nine season? Nine season. They had like a couple moments, and most of those were in the last three seasons, mm-hmm. right? I can't remember much seriously happening. Even when Kevin thought he had skin cancer and Michael didn't understand what negative meant. Right, right. Oh, he was so disappointed. <laughs> but that's, you know what? That's most comedies, though, towards the end. Think of Roseanne. Yeah. They get really somber, they get really grounded to really bring it to an, an end. But yeah, Churchy, when we were going through script reads and stuff, it definitely read as way more of a dramedy than just a comedy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm okay with that because I think that's how you tell that story. Mm-hmm. Like I, I want to tell the story of a man who's in the church from people who grew up in and worked in the church. Yeah. Hollywood cannot tell that story. If you didn't work in a church, I mean, even before working in a church, you didn't go to church like that. That's why Hollywood still be having choirs wearing choir robes. Yeah. Most churches don't do that. Most no. churches don't even have choirs. A lot of them, they got praise teams. Praise Yours team. is like a, a nice, like, it's like the mid, like, if you were to take, this is, no, I'm not going to even preface it. If you were to take Greenleaf in a Tyler Perry, like mm-hmm. comedy, it's an intersection of you getting some like yeah. real like back behind the 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 I guess curtain yeah. moments with the in, like the the personalities and the human resources of church yep. with some of the comedic moments that only church people have more than likely experienced. Absolutely, which I think is good. I don't think we've had that. That. We haven't. Yeah, I don't think we've and, had that. And, and we haven't had a, a funny, funny church thing from people who in the church possibly ever. Like no. first Sunday. Amen. Stuff, amen. Amen. Amen yeah. was a long time ago, though. Oh, it was in the 80s. <laughs> it was in the 80s when first Amen of all, existed. I think Amen. Did Vanessa Bell Armstrong sing the theme song? Oh, I don't know. That theme song for Amen? Goes. I'm gonna play it. Play it. It is Vanessa Bell Armstrong. Kevin, well, come on. TV shows don't have theme song no more. I know. This sucks. The lights of heaven, Lord, shine on me. Turn on the light from heaven, Lord, shine on me. Shine on me. Turn on the light. On the light. Turn on the light. Turn on the light. Let me to find out. Shine on me, shine on me, shine on me. You doing both parts, Angel. He got in that double dutch, didn't he? Why she did not have to go off like that?
She was squall. That's that's what we call squalling. Okay. Come on, come on. You know what? Before we go, I'm gonna play. Quite possibly to me. What? The gr- this is not even quite possibly. This is easily. Um. Man, I don't know. The preacher's wife. Um, soundtrack probably the best soundtrack of a church movie ever. Uh huh. What's the song that I love that the choir sang? Is it he's? Is it he? This is regular church people. He's all. He's all over me. And he's keeping me alive. He's all over me. This is good black. And he's keeping me alive. Me. And he's keeping me alive. He's on. He is keeping me alive. He's keeping me alive. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's all over me. Just take the hands together. He's all over me. And he's keeping me alive. All over me. And he's keeping me alive. Come on, blacks. He's in my what? Y'all better see it. And he's keeping me alive. Oh. He's in my hands and in my feet. Oh. I'll never grow old. He's in my heart and in my mind. I love Whitney. I know he. That, that when she used to do that. He's. He's in my feet. Come on, break down. Do, 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 do. Mm-hmm. Get a bell. Get a bell. He's all over me. And he's keeping me alive. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he's keeping me alive. I know he is keeping me alive. He's keeping me alive. I want to hear you again. <laughs> oh. My favorite gospel song in a track, on a uh, movie track, is Yolanda Adams' song on that one. You, She had a song on a... What is the song, y'all? Your is it Kingdom Come? It, it's probably Kingdom Come. That's also a great soundtrack. What is that song she sang? Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, come on! <laughs> I don't know what it is, Angel. What oh, the Patreon said it is. I got, got the victory. I got the sweet, sweet victory in Jesus. What? Oh, he died and he rose on the third day. You that, what me. is that from? Woo! Is, is it, it from this? the gospel? Yes. What it's was this very from? Destiny Child. Are you? Did you cry on this? I am sure I did. This is sound like Pastor Baby Dove. <laughs> I got, got the victory. I got the sweet, sweet victory in Jesus. Oh, he died. Is this from a movie? On the, third day. the gospel. Yes. The gospel. Got the victory. I don't even know what they're saying other than I got got Candy wrote this. Of course. (laughs) Candy just started on the first day he created light in the arts. And he said it was good. Next day he. Come on, Yolanda. She don't don't get talked about enough. She is cold with it. Still cold got it on the new show, Kingdom Business. Come this on, is, Jesus This is a lot of words. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Come on! Because I got, got the victory. I got the sweet, sweet victory in Jesus. <laughs> yes, I do. He died and he rose on the third day. <laughs> Got the 
him fix her. I what said, a, try. What did Ty do that was in the movie? It wasn't. She just said, I would like uh, Ty. Of course I do. Oh, yeah. The, I boo-hoo to all of his music. Okay, before we go, I want to play one more song. This ain't a soundtrack. Bland. Tone, who doesn't get talked about. What's his new name? Be Slade. Be Slade. He turned the Family Feud theme song Come on. into a gospel song called Work On Me. And it is by far one of the best things ever. And we're going to play just a little bit and we're going to go on to glory. Nope, that's not it. I was like, this don't this sound is, like this. This is it. This is, these songs play back to back on the, mm. on the album. Mm. This is it. This song. This is Family Feud intro. It hey, is. come on out, families. This boy went dumb. Do we keep playing games? When we all go, <laughs> he really he's used coming it. in so soon. No one knows the day or hour. Maybe like, or in the afternoon. I didn't think he was really he's going to use the melody. Coming back. Oh, that family view? Yes, I thought coming he was back. using it as a back. Get him set. Uh, 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 Don't be late. Uh, 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 Run you today. He did it for you. For you. Put your sanctified hands together. You know this is in San Diego? He was? Brie Lala, that is my favorite song. He grew up in San Diego. Tell me why do we keep playing games when we all know no one knows the day or hour. He's coming. Coming back, he's coming back, yeah. coming back. Yeah. Get his yeah. day, don't you say, don't you say. He did it. Have you been watching CNN? Yeah. Have you been watching CNN? Oh, I'm early. Dang. Y'all better get on it and play it. Woo! Tell me why do we keep playing it? <laughs> the way you sing the, the women's part kills me. Y'all better drive. Come on, baby. Now you say, have you been watching CNN? Have you been watching CNN? Have you been watching CNN? People, won't you pay attention? <laughs> this it's getting closer to the end. Straighten up. Straighten up. Fly this right. Is now Get your act together. Broadway musical. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is going, getting into Broadway musical hey. style. Oh, oh. Oh, okay, I heard hey. both of those. Come on. Stop it, Angel. What else you got? I don't got nothing. Come on, Kevin. Get right. No time to win. Get right. All right, y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in. We will Hallelujah. see you later on. I believe we're going to do the bonus. This hit Friday at 8 a.m. Hey, no. No, flip around. No, we talked about it. No, Melissa it. was like. That's what she, I said Friday. Yes, but. At Melissa, 8 a.m. No. no. Uh, listen and hush. Check the chat.
I I'm confirmed hushing. it. I'm hushing. I'm gonna turn this this song on and we're gonna explain it real quick. Go ahead. What, what, what do we say? This is Todos Juntos Alabama Sal Senor. This is Tacos Al Pastor. This is Tone no, Two. It's it's Tacos Al Pastor. Oh, the, Todos Juntos Alabama Al Senor. What do we say? We said Friday at 8, 8 a.m. virtual in, in uh, for TBTB bald, for at 10. Bald and Beautiful, no. no. It's Bald and the she, Beautiful a, is 8 30. Liz, Liz requested the earlier one. Because she wants to meet up with Mel. Here's the thing in a second? Yes. I'll be the one to decide this. I doubt it. Oh. <laughs> hey, NP, hey, 8 30 is cool for me oh, for TBTB. Wow. I want hey, to meet Mel hey. after, so I want to be done early. So oh, I want to see you. That's what she meant by 8 30. I thought. Yeah, okay. I thought it was eight. Can we reverse that? Angel said, okay. The so devil eight. thought he had me. Oh. That's my song. Thought that thought my he... life was over. Who was that? The devil thought he had me? Ty. He thought that he I would it? give up. He thought I had no more. He thought. Right, we'll listen to that on the way out. I love y'all. Was... Y'all can go anytime you want. We're going to listen to this. We're going to just listen to the gospel music. Dun, 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 Ty really was in his bag oh three my albums God, straight. Okay. But this, this is the single for this new album. I ran a 10K crying to the song. <laughs> you know soundtrack getting back together. Oh. Well, there are times in my life when I thought I could never make it. Ooh. I was in down, I was out for the count, I was through. It was then that I, I was in that I stood again. Come on! <laughs> what hell meant for me was well, my turn it around for my good. What'd he say? The, the devil, devil thought he had, had me over, give up, no more. more. They just want someone Later. stepped in my, Later. my morning has now begun. He turned it. Woo! I you shouted good to this. Woo! Ty's musicality. And the world don't know how I did ever made it. All of those nights I will cry myself so filled with pain. Mm -hmm. To me, my heart, fear and stress. Could not compete anymore. The devil thought he thought that my life was. He thought that I would. He thought I had no. But that's when someone stepped in my situation. <laughs> my morning has now begun. He, he turned, turned it. it. Woo! He turned it. Hey! He turned.
I can't let it loose all the way because I gotta pee. Right now. Day. All right now. Right now. Right now. The, the devil, devil thought he had me. Y'all that boy she cut it in the said it up. He thought he had me. The devil thought he had me. Yeah, they did, they did, they did. I was in his grasp. He had me by the, the hip. But I, he thought that I would. I was here he and I, I, had no, I was facing the one. Except the most situation. <laughs> Be God. Because he told Shut me. That. Lift your hands. Rabbi Yoda. Yedemo. Grogu is thy name. Come on. Grogu is thy name. I don't think I got to do the Peloton. Turn it around. I don't got to do the Peloton no more. All right. Bye, y'all. Y'all, we just, I mean, last one. I didn't even press this. It just came on next. I didn't even turn it on. The YouTube recommended it. Yet it. V. C. T. O. Ah. Ladies. This is tying them. That's all they was doing in the concert. It's all, it's all there is no value. Shut up, Abo! The force is with you. Out of your belly. Out of your belly. Living water. Yo, get me. You better place him. You ain't a baby no more. When I was a child, I spoke as a child. But when I was a man, I put away childish things. You ain't Baby Yoda no more. You are Grogu. My way to a burning hell. Yeah. Yeah. You are 50 years old. Stop playing with it. Stop playing with it. You better praise him. You better give him your love. You got big old eyes. So you can see your future clearly. Body, yaddy, yaddy, you got yaddy. big old ears. <laughs> so you can hear God clearly. Body, yaddy, yaddy, Give yaddy. him the glory. Legs, hips, body, yaddy, yaddy. <laughs> Somebody who's listening. You better give it to him. Have something to drink. You ain't thirsty. Because Jesus is the living water. Hey, if you serve Jesus, you'll never thirst again. He'll never thirst again. Come on! All you gotta do is trust. music will make you pay, No, pay, Angel! Pay, pay. Yes. Angel! You can't twerk the tide. Don't throw it back for the Lord. She threw that thing in a prayer what? circle, Josh. What? 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 No, Josh, don't let her. Victor, Victor. That's not what you're Clap them hands. Clap them cheeks. <laughs> I got the Victor, Victor, Victory. I got the Victor, Victor. This is one of the best it's concerts I've ever been to. Leg, hips, <laughs> Stop body, putting body. that in everything. Let's get them, girls. Legs, <laughs> hips, body, body, body. I got a man who keeps around body, 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 body. Victory. Body, body. It works. It do work. Body, yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. Legs, hips, body, body, yaddy, body, yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. I got a man who keep around. Uh, come on, DJ Angel. <laughs> we got to do it for my man, Kenny. Josh is, first of all, editing us like we're in a music video. He's doing he his thing. 
All right, I gotta go. We, body, I mean, I don't have yaddy, to go, but yaddy, Angel got to pee, and I, I will listen to gospel music for the rest of my day. Whoo, Jesus! It was a good that time, a guys. Time. I am literally sweating. I am sweating. Oh yeah, I can too. see it on your forehead. Yeah. Yes. Woo! All right, y'all, I'm, I'm gone. Sorry for screaming at y'all too. I'm gone. I'm gone. What I just, this? we just ain't played none of Karen. Oh. You know this, Angel. As soon as she says the first no, you're going to know it. Let's see. Boo doo, boo, boo doo. Boo. I should get a gospel radio show. Sir, my love for gospel we music. You can't I play can... nothing on it. I... <laughs> play no music. You know this, Angel? No, what you talking There is a bomb in Gilead. Hey, hey. There is a bomb in Gilead. There is a bomb in Gilead. There is a bomb in a bomb. There is there is a bomb in Gilead. Who cares? There is a bomb. It's so there, early, there, Maddie. There is a bomb. Oh, oh, oh. There is a bomb. Mm. Yeah, hey, hey, there is a bomb. Oh, medicine used in the Bible day. Pain. She was really going stupid on this song. Bible day. I don't think she knows how to sing a straight melody. She can. Donna Lawrence arranged this. I can believe it. Now I can hear it. There is a bomb. Come on. There is a bomb. There's a bomb. In He's a healer. Jesus is a bomb in Josh, you could just play this segment for the radio. <laughs> I don't know if we... Well, we it's already got music in it. it. I was thinking about it. We already have music in there. It's 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 the radio. Or you can blend that song uh, in. Well, you, they, uh, they set the actual... I just read the uh, titles of the songs, uh -huh. and they place it, so I don't know how they... Uh, let them figure it out. There you go. Yeah. Uh, 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 Ooh, she got down. Break it down. There is a Woo, Karen! Yeah. She's she just up there. there. She'd be like, Jesus, let me talk to let you. Let me talk to you from up here. whole song but i got two more and i'm gonna play it now for real i'm gonna go by 10 30. okay this is the one is one of my favorite gospel songs in the history of the world it is so gospel it's james hall worship and praise god is in control come on choir oh yeah i sang this with the el paso mass choir I i've never to... felt so saved in my life i directed the song did you direct it angel oh i don't know if i can do it now. you can do it angel Ooh. Baseline oh. drums. Tenors. He's, He's in, in control. control. Come on, God. God is in control. 
is in control. What matter of man is this? What matter of man is this? Who can get away? What matter? What matter of man is this? Who can get away? I know we're about to get God can do just what he wants. God can do just what he wants. God? Oh, we are Come on, baseline. In control. In control. Ooh. Ooh. In control. He's in control. Come on, take it. God. He's in control. God. God. He's in control. Mm, what manner of man is this? What manner of man is this? Who let up be? What manner of man is this? Remember this, Angel? <laughs> oh, no. Y'all never did that? No. Come on, God. God can do just what he wants. Come on. God can do just what he wants. God can do just what he wants. This is the one little break you get before the rest of the marathon. This is when they go. This is when they break down. Yeah. Come on, man. God is in control. God is in control. God is in control. God is in control. Altos. God, God is in control. control. God is in control. God is in control. God is in control. Sopranos. In control. Got it in control. In control. Got it in control. Got that 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 in control. This is where you go back down to Elso. Oh, Jesus. God is in control. Oh, oh, it's in control. Uh, we got to go on this. I, the, Sherry just really went in her bag. And she didn't have to do this, Angel. And I needed to be encouraged in the atmosphere today. You. I think I'll do this for three hours. I know. <laughs> I got to go this? at 1030. No matter how you feel, you will be healed. Encourage yourself in the Lord. Oh, Sherry? I mean, she walked on down. I the mean, steps. all up and down. Let the house up on the back. Yeah.
Okay, this is it. This is it. This is it. And I'm going. Angel got to see. This song for the choir. This is it. This song's three minute song. This is the most churchy song ever in the history of the world. And this is it. Oh! This ain't the most churchy song. Yeah, it is. Choir wise, this breakdown at the end is the churchiest thing. Hit your body and do 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 do. Mm, I don't know. You know, Angel. I don't think it's true. You do, Angel, at the end, right here. He's gonna repeat the same thing over and over. All he did is change the way they sang it. Oh, yeah. It's one that'll make your soul. It's one that'll make you whole. It's your body make you whole. Mm -hmm. Lose my shackles and set me free. Lose my shackles and set me free. All right, we're gone. This is why black church be so long. Once you get in the spirit, you can't get out of it. God bless y'all. We love y'all. We'll see you on Friday at 1030. Is that what you agreed? Uh, or 11? 10, I think is what we Virtually. said. Virtually. Virtually? Virtually. Virtually. I will not be here. Don't come myself. up here, Joshua. I Angel, do don't it. play nothing. Now we're trying to get home. Uh, this is, the, is this the song? No, this ain't the song. I'm going to find it and play it for you later. This ain't it. 
No! I'm gonna find it. No! I'm gonna let y'all know. It's Are not you? today. Oh, it's not today? All right. God bless y'all. I love y'all. We'll see you Friday. Bye. Cutting. Cutting, cutting. There's another thing of fire. There's another one. There's another thing of fire. There's another one. There's another one. There's another thing of fire. Here's another thing of fire. With my boy Kev on stage, and that chick angel.